fit like it's Dodie McMucky clubbing in Fife. I'm taking a week out to brush up on my swinging and my ball handling, so I'll spend a wee filey around the royal and ancient. And I'll tell you fit, the profits didn't hide around here. I'll be needing to up my game a wee bitty. It's time for a tea time upgrade for the 1% folk. Here's fit you'll be needing. 200 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of semolina, 100 grams of granulated sugar, 200 grams of butter, cut it up, and a pinch of salt. Get a servant to heat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius and grease up a square tin. Now mix the flour, semolina, the sugar, and the salt, and get a and mix it up together. Add in your butter and mix it all together till it forms a big stiff dough. Put your dough in its place like it's the proletariat and smooth it all down. Now bake it for 25 minutes until it's the colour of your own private bank vault. Tack it out and let it cool in the tin. While you wait, you could maybe evict thousands of people for your land and start a global diaspora. Just for instance. Now it's time for the caramel. You'll be needing 175 grams of butter, 100 grams of condensed milk, 82.5 grams of golden syrup, and 175 grams of sugar. Put the butter, sugar, syrup, and condensed milk into a pot and heat it hard gently, letting the butter melt. Heat the caramel slowly and steadily to 105 degrees Celsius. Then tack it off the heat and pour it onto the shortbread. Put it back again into the fridge to cool. While you wait, you might want to think about mm, spending a million of your cash to try and oppress gay people for no rational reason. Just for instance. No, we're tacking this to baller level. You're going to be needing 100 grams of milk chocolate and 100 grams of dark chocolate. Melt down the chocolate carefully in the microwave by putting it on full blast for 20 second bursts. Mix it up in between and when there's no lumps left, it's time to pour it out over the caramel. Let it set again in the fridge. In the meantime, why not buy a site of special scientific interest and ruin it for Abadi? And then the world too. Cut it up into squares and then serve it with a wee fly cup as well as a casual disdain for your fellow human being. Mmm, yes, quite delicious. Ta-ta for now, chaps. Scott's Cran was brought to you the day by James Hamilton, Alistair Stewart, Glenn Morrow, and all the loons and coinies donating on the Patreon. I'm awful grateful to you.